Hello, my name is Jose Luis and I'm going to help you how to design or start designing a building that you would want to build and I will show you the process step by step. There are some things that you have to figure out before you want to build. First, what do you want to build? Do you want to design a, a 10 story building? Um, here you got your windows and stuff. Do you want to design a house where you have the basic two story or three story, you have your roof, you have your house and you got a window. That, or do you want to build a really big skyscraper, something like this, something unique, right? So that's what you want to figure out first. What do you want to build? Second, how much time do you have on your hands? Really crucial, this step, because you can't design a skyscraper with all those floor plans in a couple of weeks. You have to take at least a couple of months, maybe even a year. Um, more like a house, if you have a couple of weeks, it'd be more, you know, uh, attainable. So, time is really crucial. Third, what type of architecture do you want to do? Do you want to do industrial versus green? I think this step is really important um, because you want to find the right materials um, to build your building. Uh, and then fourth, uh, where do you want to build your building at? Do you want to build it in the city? Do you want to build it in the country? Or do you want to build it in the suburbs? That's really key, important part, because that will determine your, the difficulty of your project as well. But first, you need to learn about the process that each step takes in the building design process. Now, I want you to follow me over here, where I um, broke it off into chunks of what the processes would be. So. Um, first, I want to emphasize, where do you want to build your building at? Do you want to build it in the city? Do you want to build it in the suburbs? Do you want to build it in the country? And this will determine all the rest of these uh, steps. And second, um, block plan. Block plan uh, gives um, a perspective of your building in uh, terms of others, uh, making it a cohesive neighborhood, not just having a big building while there's uh, small buildings or just having a really modern house next to a really old Victorian, for example. Um, and site plan, uh, where you put your components based on your uh, area of interest where you want to build. And for example, if you were building in the city, you would put trash cans, bicycle racks, um, all that good stuff. And for leveling, this is where you determine how tall you want your building to be. And it goes in com um, interconnected with floor plan because um, if you, for example, choose a building that's 100 um, meters, uh, floors tall, then uh, you want to make sure that you have you know, enough floor plans to fit that. And floor plan, the last one, is creating a cohesive flow. Um, uh, compared to its environment so that you create something good for the building itself inside and out. And here you see my first phase of the project. So as I said before, the first phase is trying to figure out where do you want to build. Now I already knew in my mind that I want to build in the city, in particular New York City. But I had to um, overcome some challenges and it took about two or three weeks to find out where to build in New York City. One, it's densely populated. And two, there is a dense amount of, you guessed it, buildings, right? A lot of them. So it was really hard for me to find a place adequate enough to build my building because there was not a lot of available space. And the space that was available, top dollar, you know what I mean. And also, uh, I had a hard time finding out like how to incorporate um, the type of building because I wanted to build a very modern building. And um, as we know, or you might not know, New York City has a lot of old and uh, really um, rich with history uh, buildings. So I just wanted to keep in mind that when I'm doing my block plan, but let's not get to that yet. We're still planning out where we want to build. And so what I did was I went and researched about um, different sites, many different sites or buildings that would be either demolished or are in the process of being demolished or is just empty land like a parking lot and we would uh, build there. 
So, for example, for mine, I found the new Amsterdam do building. I looked it up on Google, and so uh, I found out that it was in the process of being demolished, but it said New Amsterdam building. I was confused, but uh, I said it was, and uh, recently I found out that it wasn't, so you have to be very careful about that if you're going to design it. Um, this is just a very hypothetical situation now. I'm going to build a New Amsterdam building on Chambers and Broadway, and that's where my site is going to be at, my building, my modern building. So be prepared for the rest of the process, the next videos. Thank you for viewing my video on Introduction to Architecture. I hope you view my next couple of videos so that you can see the process, um, and I will take you through my project. Thank you so much for viewing. Bye for now.